everybody this is july 8th 2021 video one this is audrey a-u-d-r-y-e-n-o-w.com soon a-u-d-r-y-e-n-o-w.com slash ism i-s-m keep a lookout for it on the website or keep going to it it should be live next week hopefully but next week anyway what i'd like to speak on and these videos are going to my youtube so it's not so much going to my instagram if you know people who are used to following me on Instaga instagram please send them to youtube uh, youtube.com slash audrey now or bitly bit.ly slash audrey now anyway what is your take on cultural appropriation which to me is stealing actually cultural appreciation which is giving acknowledgement and i'm calling something cultural approval where somebody of any coloration background or whatever sets themselves up or creates a fashion or a look so they will be accepted they hope by either another group now i may say certain things now that may feel controversial but you know I have to simply say it with love and love and love. Some years back, people of color, especially women, and even before that, men were straightening their hair. Why? Mainly, mainly to be accepted into white culture. I'm not saying I understood it, didn't understood it. I got it. I understood it. It's like when men, I think in the 30s, maybe the 40s, before I was really running around loose, were having these styles with hair straightened, so which I, when I saw them on television or wherever, did not appeal to me. But then again, I'm a different kind of woman, different kind of person. And that's no better than cultural appropriation, done for different reasons, because one is stealing and patronizing and approved cultural appreciation is acknowledgement. I've worn African clothing. I've been to Africa. I have African friends, not as much in Florida, but in New York I did, and hung out at places with African people, not African-American, African, as well as African-American. I've been there. I had property there that because I didn't follow up on account of I didn't know how to create the money, I no longer have. And that was way back. Would I like it back? Yes. Okay. And this cult seeking cultural approval, that needs to be over. You want to straighten your hair, straighten it. You want to curl it, curl it. You want to stick it up in these interesting things I saw women do umpteen and a half years ago in Nigeria. Let's see. My daughter was a kid. I know how old she is now. About 35 years ago. Because I remember one woman looking at my curly little mop of hair, saying how she loved it. This is in Nigeria, and me looking at her hair with like points coming out, and me saying how incredibly beautiful it looked, and we both laughed. She said, did you want to trade? I said, not trade, but you know, be able to do that, which someone would have to do it. I wouldn't have a clue, but my hair's easy. This is its natural way. Color is enhanced right now. So we all need to be aware of this. And I am not into stealing from other cultures. And in my opinion, and I am categorized as white, you could see my face, here it is. White people have been stealing from black, brown, beige people for years. And black, brown, beige people, maybe not stealing, have been looking in this society to be accepted. God, I don't want to be accepted by an effing moron. I'm sorry, my language. I don't need to be. And I'm sorry I'm being rude. I'm looking to be, quote unquote, accepted. And I'm lucky that I am by people I love. And I live a very multicultural, diverse life. So none of this being accepted by people that, quote unquote, look different than me because of, of skin or hair or a little bit the body, we all have the essential sameness. Anyway, I'm simply saying 
be aware and acknowledge what you're doing. You don't have to be guilty and you don't have to hide, but you need to acknowledge and you need to shift. That's why ism freedom. Be free of the causes and effects of racism, sexism, and other isms. My new course, launching on September 17th, 2021. Blessings. Bye-bye. Thank you.